Welcome everyone to part four of Music Medic's five-part series on removing dents from a saxophone. My name is Rich. And I'm Ryan. Today we're going to be going over how to remove dents from a saxophone body. Let's get started. First, let's talk anatomy. The body of the saxophone is the area that goes from the neck receiver down to the top of the bow. There's a lot of open areas in the body and that often take dents. Today we're going to show you two different methods for taking out dents. One where you would disassemble the instrument and one where you would not. Let's start with a method on an assembled instrument. First, let's go over the tools we need for this job. We're going to need a vise, preferably affixed to the floor. Our 5 8 inch dent rod. A way to hold the dent rod in the vise. And a slotted dent barrel. It is important to note that the slot on the dent barrel should be facing down because there's an octave pit protruding from the inside of the body. The purpose of this slot is for easy passage past the octave pip, but that slot can easily damage the inside of the instrument if it's pointed in the wrong direction while you work. The working area we want to use on this dent barrel is right here on this front edge. Not quite this rounded edge and not quite this hump, but this flat area right in here. Another thing is, I don't like to have the rod too far out because then it gets a lot of flex to it. I like to have just enough so that the rod is sturdy. Obviously, you want to leave enough clearance so that your neck receiver doesn't bump into your vise. So, our vise is tightened, our slot is on the bottom, we slide the barrel past the inside octave pip. Now, we can sight the barrel through a tone hole next to the dent. When I start my dent removal, I like to start from the edge of the dent going towards the center of the dent. Same thing with the other side starting from the edge, going towards the center. Use straight arms and use your whole body and push and roll that dent out. Again, I'm rolling from the edge, going towards the center. Sometimes when the edges are very sharp, this is when you can use a dent hammer. It's best to use a plastic or Delrin headed hammer as a metal dent hammer will tend to work hard in the brass. To take out those sharp edges, line up your dent barrel directly underneath the high spot. And just lightly tap the high points down of your dent with glancing blow. What I'm looking for to see if the dent is completely removed is this reflection line. If you see any disturbance in this line of reflection, then you know the dent is still there and you need to do a little more work with your dent barrel. This dent barrel can be great for taking out a small, simple dent, but for more complex or harder to reach dents, I like to use a mandrel. Which brings us to method two, taking dents out of the body of a disassembled instrument. Instead of our 5 8 rod, we're going to switch to our 3 quarter inch rod. It's a little more stout, has less flex, and fits into our body section mandrels quite well. Our mandrel sets, available from Music Medic through the link in the description below, come in a three section set for alto and a two section set for tenor. These mandrels replicate the taper of different sections of the inside of the body. And you can see there's a slot for the octave pip for the top section of the body. We'll also use a plastic or Delrin hammer, as well as our slide lock roller tool. Once your body is disassembled from the bow and the bell, select a dent mandrel that's going to fit your working area and thread it onto the rod. The great thing about these dent mandrels is that just when you begin to put it on the horn, it starts to remove the dent. Because it's the correct taper for this section of the body, any dents in that section will begin to smooth out. At this point, we can use our plastic or Delrin hammer to take out some of those sharp edges. Again, with glancing blows from the edge of the dent to the center. If the dent is in a tight spot that's hard to reach with your hammer, you may want to move to using our slide lock roller tool. In part two of this series, we showed you how useful this tool is for taking dents out of the bell flare. Since it's a rolling burnisher, it's also a great tool for smoothing out body dents without marring or scratching the finish. 
We could theoretically use a normal burnisher with some lubricant, but because this highly polished tool rolls over the brass, it cuts down on the chances of scratching the surface. When you work with our slide lock roller tool in conjunction with the dent mandrel, it eliminates the lumpiness in dent work you often see using dent barrels, balls, and hammers. And again, I'm working towards the edge of the dent, going towards the center. Switch to the other side, work the edge of the dent towards the center. This roller is steel, and the mandrel is steel, so you want to be careful not to use too much pressure that compresses the brass. Too much and you'll actually begin to stretch out the brass and begin to see long streaks. So use just enough pressure to work that brass back in place. Thanks, Ryan. That concludes part four of our five-part series on removing dents from a saxophone. We'll leave a link in the description to the tools we use today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out our next video in this series, Removing Dents from a Saxophone Neck. And until next time, happy repairing.